What's up, y'all? It's Daniel, your shoe mollier. Like many sneaker folk out there, I decide what I'm gonna wear on any given day by starting at the bottom. I decide what shoes or sneakers I'm gonna wear, then I move to socks, and then becomes the all-important question. Am I gonna wear pants? And if so, what kind of pants? Or am I gonna wear shorts? And if you're down here in Texas or have climate that is similar, you're probably wearing shorts 300 days out of the year. And if you're also like me, being a man, sometimes you're like, there's just not a lot of good choices when it comes to shorts. They're too baggy, they're too loose, they're too short, they're too tight, they're too long, they don't look good, maybe they don't feel good. And as it has been quite a while since I've reviewed any sort of piece of clothing, much less pants, or in this case shorts, I thought today I would take some time to talk about the Adidas BTS rib short. Now, based on my quick and limited internet research, it would seem, and if I'm wrong, correct me down below in the comment section, that you can only get these Adidas BTS rib shorts at your local Dick Sporting Goods. I searched the Adidas website, and I can't really find any other distributors or retailers that have them, so if you like these shorts and you wanna grab them, either visit your local Dick Sporting Goods, or you can go visit them online. This is not an ad, this is just where I found these shorts. These Adidas Men's BTS Rib Shorts retail for 40 US American dollars and can be found in five different colorways. Black, gray, a cream white, an olive green, and a pink or salmon color. They are of a loose fit, have an elastic waistband, and an adjustable draw cord. These shorts are 70% cotton and 30% polyester. And according to the tags that are attached to the short, this product is made with recycled content as part of Adidas's ambition to end plastic waste. Now, when it comes to fit, I am five foot 10 inches tall. Most of my height is in my legs. When I sit down at a chair or a booth at a restaurant, I look way shorter than I am in real life. And if weight matters, I go between 155 and 160, depending on the day. Now, as for my waist and inseam, I'm about a 31 inches. So if they offer it, I get a 31. If not, I have to decide between a 30 or 32. And when it comes to length, in order to get that nice no break look on the heel, I tend to go 30 inches. However, if I want a longer fit or if I want to cuff my jeans or pants, I'll get a 32. But again, like my waist, 31 inches seems to be just right, but more often than not, I get 30 inch inseam. I have found that consistently across the board on shorts and shirts, Adidas fits me bigger than I would like. If I wanted a looser fit up top or on the bottom or I wanted a lot more room, I probably would get medium. But as I like a tighter fit, more of a slim fit, I tend to go down to a small and I find that that fits me way better and it really brings the eye down to the shoes, which is the reason why you wear a slim or carrot type fit. And since these shorts do have an elastic waistband, if I need a little bit more room, they'll stretch out, like on a good meal day. And again, that's consistent across most, if not all of Adidas's clothes, tops or bottoms. As these shorts are called rib shorts, you can see the ribbing on the left and right side of the short. The shorts have two pockets on the front, no pockets on the back. And honestly, they feel so comfortable and so soft, almost like a terry, and it's very thin, so it will wear well in hotter climates. So let us know in the comment section down below what you think about these Adidas Men's BTS rib shorts. Do you have a favorite color? Have you tried them on? And what do you think about the $40 price tag for these shorts? I don't know. I couldn't tell you what I realistically think you should pay for these shorts. I guess somewhere between $25 and $40 is correct. Maybe $29.99 plus tax would be the sweet spot on these shorts, but as it is $40, you're gonna have all that tax and shipping and all that other stuff. So it gets kind of pricey, especially for a short that isn't considered premium, high quality, sophisticated. But it's still a good short and I highly recommend it. Let's talk about it in the comment section down below. So to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill till the next episode.